You did everything you could, Dr. Strode. It wasn't your fault, Doctor. Reagan. Wasn't it? I'm the one who looked at him and I told him when he woke up. When he woke from that coma, he'd be able to see himself again. He'd be visible again. And I'm the one who put him in that coma. I'm the one. I've lost him somewhere in this hospital. I've lost the invisible man and without, without my editor, he'll never, he'll never awake from that coma. <laughs> Oh, Shelly. Oh, Shelly. Let's forget about the problem. It's all fine. Oh. Cut! That was a really great job, Polly. Thanks, you too. You were really, really believable in that. Yep, you too. I was thinking maybe we could, uh, you know, get lunch sometime and yep, you catch too. up. Mm -hmm. Kazanir, could you go see Stephanie in wardrobe? I need her to take a look at your costume for scene 38. Of course, yeah. I hope he doesn't suck any dick on the way. Yeah, but how did you know he was gay? I can't imagine anyone thinking he's straight. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's so totally obvious. Sorry for the intrusion, but I got the feeling you wanted him gone. Oh no, well, well I actually have a question. So, um, do you really think that this is how Reagan would respond after losing a patient? She's overcome by emotions, so she takes solace in a man. Yeah, but she's such a strong character, and so for her to do this, it just seems so... You know that, and I know that. But the producers, the men, they can't fathom this. Well, I guess that's why they put me in this. But, huh? No, that's just me being a dirty old broad. Oh. <laughs> Lunch? Oh, Anthony, sweetheart, you look awful. Well, a good morning to you, too. Oh, you can't keep secrets from me, not since death united us. Well, you'll forgive me if I try to keep at least one or two things to myself. Well, like the fact that you're not sleeping well. How did you know that? I mean, how, how could anyone sleep well with all that noise from that renovation upstairs? Oh, don't pretend with me, Poppet. I've seen you wake up in the cold sweat and shaking. Their nightmares, nothing more. Or portents of things to come. You need a little fun in your life. Yeah, I will have fun later. When? When you're dead? If I had it over again, I certainly would have started earlier than that. I can tell you, kiddo. Well, I have fun, just on my own terms. Well, then maybe it's time to choose someone else's so that you don't wake up in bed alone. Well, as soon as Hunter moves in, I won't be. There are other men out there besides Hunter. Not to me. Hey, uh, so is everything okay in here? Look how cozy he's gotten. He doesn't even wait for an invite. It's all right. Uh, so I was just going to go to the bar to make sure everything's together for tonight's event. Coming? Uh, sure, I'll, I'll come. I'll come now. Now, um, are you sure everything's okay? I heard talking. How's Phil? Now there's someone you don't want to have in bed with you. I can't believe you replaced me with him. I didn't replace you with him. He just came when you moved on. I don't want him here either. Hmm. Anthony, I never thought that you were going to replace me. And I'm not going anywhere. Well, not now he isn't. But I know the look in a man when he wants to move on. I saw it in Hunter's eyes, and I see it in his. You better do something, Anthony, or all you're going to have left is me. Although, <laughs> you could do worse than to have me as a companion. Oh my god, I swear this girl's got more toys than anybody needs. And she's so messy. Oh, but this is a nice dress. Hello there. My name is Polly. I like to show my boobs off, just cause I have them. And I think I'm the only person in the world with them. Ooh, makes me interesting. And I'm such a good singer, and I'm such a good actress, and everybody loves me cause my name is Polly. Oh my goodness. Vanessa, what are, what are you doing here, darling? Just 
Holly here. No, she's not. She's at work. <sighs> Damn. Wait a minute. You have a key? How do you get a key? She said I can't get a key. You know, never to ask for permission for things, Piper. You should know that. Mm. Well, what seems to be the problem? You should tell someone who cares, darling. Hunter won't talk to Anthony even though I gave him a bagel with blueberry cream cheese. Oh, honey, you should tell someone who really cares. See, I don't, that is my coffee, miss. Fate is a fickle fiend, Piper. You think you're doing something wonderful, helping your brother get over his husband leaving him by teaching his new lover how to woo him when things go south, because you know they'll go south, because he's your brother and you know exactly how he behaves, and how he tends to ruin things by letting himself get in the way and his head get in the way, and things blow up because his new lover just happens to be a psychotic user and abuser. Life just isn't fair. That's my coffee, Vanessa. Vanessa, you have my coffee. That is not acceptable, Mark. You, you signed a contract. Do Let you me hear me? Let me talk to him. So then, after I added the column to the total from lines 25 to 32, I realized there was a massive discrepancy. And then I stopped and Look, I went, I'm really sorry, but you're boring the shit out of me. What would it take to shut you up? Sex? What was that about? Customer service. More like servicing customers. Well, if it looks like a duck. Quack, quack. <laughs> Hi, Dennis. <laughs> well, I just, uh, I'm here to set up. Where should I set up? Uh, you'd have to ask Angie. Hmm. He's a little preoccupied right now. Right. Well, I'm assuming I'm gonna be on the stage, so, um, how about if I just go make myself at home? That works. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I feel like she's so confident and she's so talented and just, yeah, you've said that. Yeah, but I, I think she thinks that I'm a lesbian, and I feel like she's going to want me to do something about that. Wait, wait, so you're gonna... Yeah, no, 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 there's not gonna be any of that. I just mean that I, I, I like a little something in between the legs. Oh, you know what I mean, you know. And I learned that out a long time ago, and that's just who I am. I don't know, I just, I feel like, I feel like she's so great, and I just, I'm gonna I'm gonna go to the studio. I'm gonna be honest with her. I'm gonna tell her exactly how I feel, who I am, and just, you know, just do it. I'm just gonna do it. I mean, that's probably for the best because you don't want there to be any misconceptions between you two. Anthony, I'm not pregnant. I'm fat. There's a difference. I, yeah. I, I just mean that I think it's a really good thing that you're gonna go and tell her where she stands with you, that's all. Oh, well, you could have just said that instead of calling me pregnant or misconceptions or conceiving or any of those things, because that doesn't even make sense. Well, I'm sorry you feel that way, Mark. I, I wish you the best of luck. We don't have a model for tonight. Why do you need a model to sell drinks? Well, it's a publicity stunt. Oh, it was my idea. We're, uh, we're calling it the baptism. So I figured we could do a spin on baptisms, you know, incorporate religious iconography, sex and booze, you know, really celebrate the drink's premiere. Yeah, we even contacted the press. They're gonna come by, take some pictures, maybe write an article. It seemed like a good idea at the time. Yeah, I mean, mixed in hedonistic bar practices with religious iconography. I can't see how anyone would have a problem with that. Now, I know you're being sarcastic, but I really thought it would be good for business. So, uh, what's his excuse? He's getting twice as much to go-go dance at Gary's Ball Bag, plus tips. Those bastards! Look, the publicity stunt was my idea. I, I promise I won't let you down. So I haven't seen much of you lately. <laughs> the Andros kept me busy. I bet he has. 
Come on, Anthony, he's a good guy. I'm skeptical of your taste in Manhunter. I mean, you did marry me after all. Very true. Hey! Hello? Can you help me? I'm looking for Mr. Wolf. You and every other guy that comes in here. He's, he's sitting with his husband at the end of the bar. He's the, uh, the big one. I mean, the big tall one, not the short fat one. Thank you. Actually, I don't know if they're still married. They might be divorced. There was a buzz about that at the Halloween party. But that was only a few days ago. I don't think you get divorced that quickly. Sir? Yeah? Sir, I don't care. Why'd you ask? So, I was talking to Veronica earlier. Stop right there. I don't want to hear about it. Well, she misses you. She didn't say that exactly, but you know, if you read between the lines, I Yeah, guess. you don't read. Yeah, but I know how. Look, I, I, I just... Uh, not after what she did, okay? <sighs> All right, that's fine. But just maybe, Anthony, you're taking out your frustrations on Horatio, out on her. You need to move on. She fed you, didn't she? Oh, a bagel of blueberry cream cheese. Well, look. I just think you should let go of all the negativity and move forward. And what if I don't want to move forward? Well, the Anthony I know and love would want to. Uh, Mr. Wolf? Yeah? Uh, sorry, he's gonna have to let you suck his dick and give you a ride around the block later. We're in the middle of a conversation right now, so if you could give us some privacy. You must have me confused with someone else. <laughs> I'm, uh, my name is uh, Endo Velikus. I'm uh, with the New York City Department of Mental Health and Hygiene. Uh, 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 health inspector. Oh, uh, on second thought, you can suck my dick and ride me around the block right now. Thank you for agreeing to be the model. You've now baptized in the name of Money Shots. Enjoy your drink. You put milk in this thing. Well, yeah, you know, it looks like... Semen. Semen. You keep this place surprisingly clean. I had heard otherwise. You know, we do our part. A little spit to polish the tables, a little jizz to polish the floors. I'm kidding. We don't use spit. Well, I am going to want to see some of the other rooms still, but first, I need to get a sample of your blood. Yeah, sure, of course. Count backwards from ten. One. That's not backwards. Baptized in the name of money shots. Enjoy. It was Gary's ball bag it had to be. <sighs> Gary, I hate that guy. It's a gay bar cupcake. Yeah, I knew that. What makes you say that? Well, who else would it be? It's our major competition. Baptized in the name of money shots. Enjoy. <gasps> you know what we should do? We should go over there and we should castrate him with dull spoons and just get our revenge. We need to focus on one thing at a time. He's happy with what he's seen so far. Well, where's Chaz? I have to make sure he plugged up the glory hole in the third stall. He's getting his blood drawn. What? Did you say blood? Yeah, he said he needs it from all of us. Well, that makes sense. No, it doesn't. Look, if this guy's in charge of keeping this place open and he wants a little bit of blood, we need to give it to him. Uh, I guess... I guess that's right. Yeah. All right. Whatever, let's concentrate on one thing at a time. I call Leandro, he knows how to deal with health inspectors. He'll be by to get... What? What? What is it? Oh, his balloons. What? His condoms. Well, safe sex is not a health hazard. They're used condoms. You have used condoms just laying around? Who keeps used condoms around? Obviously it's you, you don't have to answer the question, it's rhetorical, you're the one that brought them up. 
Okay, okay, okay. All right, all right. We're overreacting over a couple of used condoms. Just go downstairs and clean them up before he looks down there. What? What? Then what are we talking about then? Three thousand. Three thousand used condoms? In the basement. In our basement? This basement. Mr. Wolf, <laughs> I am impressed so far. Now, I need to collect your blood. Uh, but I figure, hey, while, while I'm up, uh, why not check out the basement first? <laughs> I don't want to check out the basement. There's nothing down there, not even a speck of dust. I thought there was going to be music tonight. You said there would be live music. Oh, uh, I'm I'm sorry, Mr. Reed. Would you would you please? Oh, of course, Father Snuggles. I've been waiting all day. <laughs> Snuggles. That's cute. I like that name. We should call you that more often. No. Uh, Mr. Reed, would you? Of course. I could show you the base, the, the the other the back room. How about a back room? I You two get down to the basement and start cleaning up those condoms! The meaning of my life and why I want to fight with a world that doesn't suit me. Then my dreams continue on. I see the beauty of a home that accepts rather than condemns. And I know that someday I'll be in my arms, array. I'll be dancing with the aliens. I'll be too far away to telephone. Yeah, because I am an early love child. I am an early love child. I am an early love child. My blood is a mixture of Profane and divine. Think of me as Louise Hay, John Waters combined. Hey, hey, hey. One, two, three, four. early, but it's a little empty in here, wouldn't you say so, Hunter? So, uh, I think I'm ready to see the basement now, Mr. Wolf. Alone, if you don't mind. Your friend keeps trying to seduce me. Uh, Boobs. I thought they were nice and warm, and so I figured you wouldn't mind when I pulled them out. The, the basement, the, please. B behind the bar. Thank you. I'll be back for your blood. Well, would you look at that. It's been so long since I've seen my brother. Maybe we should invite him to join us. Just go away. Sure, when you prove that old queen killed me. You're getting inspected? As if you didn't know. Yeah. As if you're not the one behind it all. Yeah. As if you didn't call the city with a false claim in hopes to get us shut down. <laughs> well, it won't work, the joke's on you. Yeah. I wouldn't do anything like that. Ha, lies, lies all over your gay face. Hunter, I wouldn't do anything like that. I mean, sure, I want you to get shut down, but I'm not going to involve the city. Then what are you doing here? I just want to make sure our bar is prepped for hurricanes, you know, in case what they say on the news actually happens. Oh my god, look at that. I have to go. I have to go meet with Alma. Uh, I'm so sorry about saying that whole gay face thing. You have a really beautiful face. Sorry. I got to go. I'll see you later. Okay, bye. 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 Well, look, I'm sorry then. Uh, how about a drink on the house? 
Well, you won't catch me turning down free booze. Did he say he was coming back for your blood? I hate you. You know you're my favorite person in the world, right? I really hate you. I'm sorry, you're right. I, I, I shouldn't have asked you to do this. I'll untie you. If you oh, the snuggles! The press is here. Just go to your sermon. Let the press have their story and leave me here. I really adore you. <laughs> There's my beautiful star. Is it eight o'clock already? <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, I just wanted to thank you so much, though, for meeting with me. I really appreciate it. Don't worry it. about it. What can I do for you? Um, okay, so maybe we should just get a drink. You know, I know I feel a lot better whenever I'm moist. <laughs> your vocal cords, when your vocal cords are moist because of alcohol, it, it's lubricant. Mm -hmm. But I don't drink alcohol. Oh my god. Why? Why not? When you hang out with men, you learn to keep your wits about you. That's why in my off time, I prefer the company of women. So about that, um, I think maybe we should have a, let's, let's have a little sit down. Yeah? A little talk? Okay. 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 Well, Will says Gary's ball gag didn't do it. Uh, any reason not to believe him? Where is this health inspector I've been hearing about? Hey, what are you doing here? Well, you said you needed me, so here I am. Anthony on a cross. How symbolic. You needed him. What? Well, I, I didn't say that. I... It was between the lines. You just had to read them. You'll read between his lines. Anthony, not now. Why don't you just let me help him, seeing that I actually can? See, some of us actually know how to put other people before themselves. Hmm. Hello everyone and welcome. I'm so glad you could all be here for the premiere of the first brand new drink since the establishment of the Church of Money Shots, the baptism. <laughs> now, before we begin, let's thank our very talented Mr. Glenn Reed for the live music. <laughs> yeah! Are you all enjoying the drinks? Oh, yeah! yeah. <laughs> Good stuff! Are you all enjoying seeing our victim get baptized? Get <laughs> off! Well. Seems you're all alone here. Um, lo looks that way. <laughs> uh, how was the basement? You know, I have to say that was the cleanest basement I think I've ever seen. Well, that's how they run things at Muddy Shots. <laughs> oh. You don't mind if I take a little sample of your blood now, do you? Well, I don't, I don't see how I could stop you. <laughs> I don't either. <laughs> Perfect. Um, <clears throat> I, I don't mean to be rude or anything, but uh, this just... It doesn't seem like a traditional or a customary No, no, no it's not. Oh, I only do this when I inspect box. Ah, of course, of course. Uh, it won't hurt much. Mm -hmm. And, Very uh, good. what is it you do with the blood? Why, drink it, of course. Of course! Oh, of, of, of course! <laughs> of course! Oh, yummy, yummy blood. Thank you. But Anthony refused. Despite knowing I was right, why do siblings always have to be so difficult? Oh, I don't know, but Apollina is the exact same way. I swear, that girl thinks that she knows everything all because she lives in a big old city. But you ask her to cook a family dinner and she will melt quicker than an ass sculpture on a July afternoon. <laughs> we certainly are cursed with the blessing of a twin. Yeah. yeah. But I do have to say, it's been so nice spending so much time with Apollina, and it's it's nice to get away. Yeah, of course. So when's the funeral? I don't want to talk about that right now. Well, you know, I have some experience with this, and I'd be willing to help, and by help I mean take over. So why don't you tell me what your husband was like? Was he more of a genteel type, or... I said I don't stick? want to talk about it, okay? You know, I've lost both husband and son, and... I know better than most what you're going through, so don't hold back. I said I don't want to talk about it, Vanessa. How odd. So, um, what I guess, what I'm trying to say is that, uh, I don't know, I kind of get the feeling that maybe you think that I'm a little bit more, like, I was thinking that maybe you were thinking I was more than just an actress in your show, and, um, you know, I just, I, I just want to let you know I'm, I'm actually, I'm not a lesbian. 
Sweetie, is that what you think this is? Look, I like you. I think you're an incredibly talented actress. I want to see you succeed. And that is a very hard thing to do in this horrible business we're in. And for the record, I'm not a lesbian either. Really? I... For me, sexuality is a lot more fluid. I've learned over the years who I sleep with is a lot more important than what I sleep with. Yeah, I guess that makes a lot of sense. I mean, it doesn't matter if it's a penis or a vagina or bat wings. It just... Oh, wait. What was that last one again? Nothing. No, I was just agreeing <laughs> with what you were saying. <laughs> yeah. Um... Oh my god. Okay, yeah, I. you must think I'm completely arrogant right now. Don't be ridiculous. You're gorgeous. It's easy to see anyone wanting to be with you. Yeah, I guess so. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I like your hat. Oh, thanks. <laughs> and now we must cleanse his soul. That's some costume. <sighs> Dearly beloved, we are gathered here today to welcome our newest son, Anthony, into the fold. We of the Church of Money Shots believe strongly in being true to yourself. And we hope, as we wash away this man's past through the purity of the penis, he can hopefully use the truth of the pain he experiences to cleanse himself and find himself a wash in his new identity. A son of Money Shots. Did you write this yourself? Glenn actually helped me out a little bit. Ah. Now drink! Drink in your baptisms! You know, this actually worked out pretty well. Yeah, so can you stop squirting me so I don't drown? Oh, oh sorry. Thank you for coming to my rescue tonight. I like being here all once in a while, but don't get used to it. I still expect to be swept off my feet. Uh, don't worry. I got a place for those feet when they're not on the floor. <laughs> this the guy? Yeah. Hey there, I'm the Andre. Pleased to meet you. <laughs> Look, I know how these things go. Mr. Wolf, I want to commend you on this wonderful establishment that you run. What? Well, thank you. Uh, that's very nice of you to say, Mr. Velikus. Oh, no, please. Uh, call me Endo. Rarely do I see a bar kept in as tip-top shape as this place. Oh, that's fantastic. Yes, sir. And I will be sure to give you the highest ratings I can. That's great. What's this? Well, earlier, um, you said that I could suck your dick later, so well, that's how you can reach me. I almost completely forgot. I forgot to get your blood. <laughs> so is this just a random inspection? Or... Oh no, not at all. We actually got a, a report of some pretty vile things happening here. None of which I actually saw, fortunately. <laughs> well, can I get your blood too? Gross. No. Give me your arm. So who called you? Oh, well, I'm not really supposed to say. But considering how completely off the report we received was, I suppose you deserve to know. Um, his name was... Anthony Stewart? Uh, Dr. Anthony Stewart. <laughs> I'd like to report some disgusting things going on at a bar called Money Shots. Oh, I don't know who he is, but uh, it seems to really have it in for you. That's not possible! Well, anyway. Oh, good day, Mr. Wolfen. Good luck. So, did he take everyone's blood? And what's he gonna do with it? Told me he was gonna drink it. Oh. Oh! oh. I could have seen you hanging from a cross. Oh, how delicious. Well, I'm surprised you didn't show up. I mean, it is your kind of crowd, after all. Oh, I wanted to give you some space. If only Phil was as considerate. Anthony, I want to have a serious discussion with you about your future. I'm worried about you, Anthony. Anthony? Oh, without waiting again, what nerve! Come on in. I just really wanted to thank you for tonight. You really came through when I needed you. Yeah, well, you needed someone to come through for you. 
So did Hunter. Enough already. Just leave us. Carla? Can, can, can he see me? Can, can you see me? Uh, 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 um, what, what, what about Carla Anglicus? It's Carla, isn't it, Anthony? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. She's gone. She's moved on. I hear you in here talking to somebody, and if it's not your friend Phil, she's the most likeliest candidate. Phil is not my friend. Anthony, come on. He's not as dull as I thought him, Anthony. Anthony. Have a good night, Anglicus. I love you. Hey, thanks for the drink, Hunter. I'm really sorry about any misunderstanding. Don't worry about it. So you're a lawyer, right? That's right. Oh, well, what do you know about divorce? Mm -hmm.